Have you seen that sick Skullboy stamp yet, boy? <laughs> What could be said about the Proton Atom that hasn't already been said? You know exactly what this disc does? It flies straight. Put this Skullboy triple foil stamp in your bag today. Ooh, look at that sweet, swirly yumminess. The anode electrode, same reliable flight path, just grippy, ippy, ippy, ippy. So, you guys know this disc. You know the anode. You know... The Atom. The Atom's out in Proton Plastic. We've done a review for it. What you haven't had is this sick Skullboy stamp. It's a triple stamp. Uh, they've got blue, red, black. It's a wonderful thing. I can't believe how incredibly good MVP is getting at their precision stamp work. I mean, it. I was very impressed. I mean, if you throw an Atom and you like the Proton Plastic and you want a flight that's gonna go completely straight, and just have a nice baby fade at the end, you know this disc is for you. And if you're gonna be throwing that, why not get the sickest disc around? This stamp is what you need. There's a few colors out there, find one that you like the most. I love this Clear Atom Skullboy. What do you think about the, the disc, Dad? No, I loved it. it. It was very consistent at going 250, 265. Every time it went exactly where we threw it. You'll see some of the drone footage where I threw it down the line and it landed at the line at the opposite end where it landed at 250, 260 foot. So it's a great up shot or a great off the shot. And let's say you got you know winds going on and you got to make sure you stay in bounds and you have a shallow area to land in or go in. Throw this. It just yeah. goes you know you got to play par. Then sit there and go you know let's try the driver and try to yeah. really you know get way out there and then go B. And then you're like dead meat. And that's disc golf anyway, right? Find the, the highest percentage shot to oh, give yeah. you success. If that's you're what having you want. fun, you know, it doesn't matter. But if you're in a tournament yeah. and you want your disc to go where you, you know, like where you're trying to put it, go the atom. Just throw it hard, flat, let it go, and it just goes dead straight. And a nice little baby land when it hits. It just kind of goes, doesn't skip, doesn't do anything. And That's what I like about it. And you'll see in the anode, first of all, this disc has also been out for a long time. It's just now in the electron plastic. This electron plastic is incredibly gummy. Like gummy bear gummy. First of all, it's aesthetically pleasing. Look at these swirls. Swirls. <laughs> Focus, focus. This disc was really, really cool. I love the fact that it would fly straight just like the Atom, but it had more of a fade at the end. It right. came a little bit more left for me. So if you're looking for that next disc, that's gonna have that straight flight path, but finish left for you. The anode was a great disc to use for that. This disc is grippy. It's gonna stick to the chains. Why wouldn't you want that? This disc actually would flip up just a little bit for me, but where this would come in really good, is let's say I had some trees to get around, but I needed to fade back around at the mm. very end to get into the basket. Okay, I can aim this dead at the trees, you know, unlike this disc. If I throw this at the trees, guess what it's hitting? Trees. Okay, <laughs> this one, I can throw dead at the trees. It's going to turn a little bit to the right, get around the trees, and then come back with that little fade at the end, which yeah. is a perfect way to get around a little obstacle without having to skip in. Uh, you know, because these discs, when they hit, they pretty much just stop. They don't bounce. Yeah. They don't. They don't roll. Or at least they haven't yet. Um, and so I'd use this to throw dead at something to have it turn a little bit to the right, a little bit. Of, you know, it does a little bit of an antizer, and then it goes straight, and then it comes back. I'd say probably 15, 18 foot at the end, where this one turns back maybe an inch or two. <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously, it gets pretty much straight. But this one, you'll see it. It actually has a nice little fade at the end. And it's great to have two different discs. Totally. One that goes perfectly straight, one that will do a little bit of a turn for you and then fade back in and park it under the basket. I'd get either one of these discs, and especially this. It's sick. Just look at it. Sick, man. But the swirly? <laughs> Swirly sick too. Yeah, All totally. my discs are kind of plain in my bag. I might have to get some a little bit of bling. Maybe you need some NyQuil for your bag because all your discs are sick. Yeah, I need a little bling bling, you know. <laughs> MVP, thank you so much for trusting us and being able to give an honest, fun, open review of these discs. We appreciate the opportunity for you sending us this plastic. And if you guys are out there on the market for it and you haven't given MVP a try, 
do so. Give a shot. Go out there. Find a friend who's got some MVB discs in their bag that's willing to let you borrow them and throw them for a little bit and just see which ones you like that's going to fit for you. As always, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this channel. Infinite Disc, your disc golf superstore. Go in there, put in our discount code to get 5% off your purchase of all your disc golf needs. Go to BlendersEyewear.com. These glasses are rad. And you can use the Tuck Force One discount code to receive 20% off your purchase. We've got new videos out every week. Have an amazing day.